Hello and welcome to a new episode of the CTO Show with Mehmet. My name is Mehmet. I share daily insights about the latest news and trends in technology while exploring their problem-solving abilities. I talk also about startups and the entrepreneurs behind their innovations, products, and services. Today's topic is when it is time for businesses to innovate. A lot of times we see businesses struggling, but they are not able to come out with solutions. The answer usually is in technology, innovation and disruption. Let's dive in some of the symptoms that you should consider and what are some of the technologies that could be your tool to disrupt and to innovate. First, declining sales or market share is a sign that something needs to be done. So the way to innovate using technology is using technologies like Internet of Things or artificial intelligence to gather information to understand the reasons behind the decline of sales or market share. The second, changes in customers' needs or preferences. In this situation, you should try to deploy technologies like big data analysis, social media sentiment, to understand why your customers are changing their preferences and how you can adapt your products or services based on your customer's need. Another challenge that businesses should immediately try to innovate is when there is a new technology and there is a hype in the market about it. So they should try to innovate using these emerging technologies, for example, 5G, blockchain, cloud computing, So think how you can leverage these new trending technologies in getting your businesses to a better place. Another sign is increased competition. When you have a lot of competition in the market, you need to be on the edge. You need to have the advantage over the competition. So here where you should think about getting automation, robotics, Enhancing your processes, like using digital transformation in order to stay ahead of the game. So this is a sign that also you need to disrupt and you need to change the way you do business. Another area which should trigger for innovation is stagnant or declining profit margins. Usually this is, I see it in retail logistics companies but it might apply to any business. So here you need to look holistically on the supply chain management, inventory management, and how you can bring technology to customize and optimize these two areas and then get to you a better pricing. So you can have still the edge when it comes to profit margins. Another area where you should think about having an innovation is when you are finding you have difficulties in scaling and expanding your business. In this situation, you should leverage the new technologies like cloud computing and microservices in order to, and edge computing, I would say, in order to get your business scaling. Because remember, using the same old technology again and again will not move you forward. Another area which would be a sign for innovation and disruption is if you are starting to see that your customer base is shrinking or what we call customer churn. In this situation, you need to deploy some technologies in your marketing automation customer services to to understand why this churn is happening so you can find solution for it. So it's a very important area that you need to keep an eye on. Another area which would be a sign that you should be innovating if your talents are leaving you. 
In this situation, you need to have technology to understand what your employees are looking for, how you can manage the talents that you have, and then how you can create an engagement environment using technology. Another area, which is market research. Market research, in this situation, you need to understand what is happening around you. And you need to rely on technology to get this information for you. This is where something like business intelligence and analytics that allow you to gather and analyze the data so you can identify emerging trends and opportunities for innovation. Another challenge that will trigger for innovation imme immediately is regulations and compliance. If you find yourself, you're not able to be up to date with that. So this is where you need to invest in technology that help you in that. And this is a very important one because you need to make sure that you have a GRC, governance, risk, and compliance, and cybersecurity solutions to stay compliant and secure. Never before it was important to implement these solutions. And I'm highlighting and I'm stopping a little bit here because everything above, it involves collecting data, analyzing data. So you need to make sure that this data is protected, this data privacy is achieved, and you are not breaking any law or any compliance. So this is very, very important. Last one, if you are seeing an increased operational cost, this is also a sign that you need to do innovation. And this is where technologies like Internet of Things, automation, robotics might help you in reducing the cost. So this is a summary for today. I tried to have these ideas or signs that should trigger any business leader to think, is it time for us to do an innovation? And in technology innovation, there is really no limits. You need to keep an eye on all the points that I mentioned. And I wish you the luck in your businesses. And I hope you liked this episode. Always looking for your feedback. Thank you for the people who are sending me messages, encouraging me to do more of these episodes. Thank you very much. And stay in touch. And I would see you in the next episode. Thank you. 